when we are young we have lot of energy we want to do a lot of things but in the absence of right strategy probably we miss out i can clearly remember how i was when i was a 22 year old full of energy wanted to do so many things wanted to experiment with so many newer ideas but i lacked resources and more than resources i lacked guidance i lacked that um, guidance which i would have got from mentors and that was not a internet era probably and of course it was but it was not as vibrant as it is today and there was nobody to help the way people help you today so in the absence of that i had to pass through a lot of failures i used to try fail try fail and then finally something worked and i uh, gravitated on that and that's how you can see biotechnica but the entire idea of biotechnica was to have a lot of things but we tried we failed and then we gravitated on one thing but today after all those failures all those experiences all those learnings i can tell you that if you are a 22 year old and you want you hate you know getting into that competition writing exams competitive exams or you just hate doing anything you just want to get started with your career and start earning and start you, you want to start a company then i think i should tell you five approaches wherein you can get in and apart from that there is a surprise gift for all of you at the end okay now what are those five approaches now you look at this when you start young in the industry you have only one thing which is energy there is no pocket there is no money that you can invest in some you know manufacturing plant all you know is i will do something big right so in the absence of initial capital like you don't have money you want to start something and that is where i'm going to give you five approaches which will work your way if you start your uh, bio entrepreneurship career today as a 22 year old probably you are in your bachelor's or masters and you want to start it as a side business or maybe a main business after your masters or bachelor's either way it will work for you okay now these are tested strategies i have tested on my own self and i have realized that this is a big market so let's start with the first one the first approach which i would like to highlight is third party industry so what is a third party industry so basically you see uh, let's talk about free to lay okay lays so lays is nothing but they are taking the potato converting it into a chips then putting some preservative and marketing it in the excellent way right let's talk about coca cola so coca cola is what they are it's basically colored water colored flavored water which they are trying to you know become a replacement for what water itself and they are closely associating it with fun so people youngsters drink it right so but if you look at it there is a gap in all these you know drinks and consumer foods so this is third party industry for you so basically it's not your core biotech industry but creating a product for the wider consumer base okay so that anybody can consume it but biotech is involved there okay so let's look at that okay now first thing you are obviously going to use your biotech knowledge into this but you are not going to um you know uh, probably create a product which is a hardcore biotech product it is for general people to consume so many people say that biotech industry is limited towards pharmaceuticals and manufacturing all that stuff but this third party industry which i am talking about so ba basically it's not a third it's not a biotech audience which will be consuming your product okay it will be somebody from the general public so what kind of product you can create here you can create processed food but in the processed food market also you can create healthy processed food okay which is a alternative to all this junk food but it is as tasty as regular um, you know junk food so let's take the example of the banana chips so banana chips is not a biotech product but yeah it's something near to it but what if you take the banana you create the chips in such a way that the oil is consumed is less and you manufacture it in such a way maybe use you use hybrid banana or banana which is cheaper or something like that and then you develop a product okay and then bring it to the market so it becomes a healthy alternate to chips now regular banana chips is not a alternate to uh, the lays chips but what if you could create using your own resources in your kitchen so you don't need to go anywhere 
right? You don't need to go anywhere. You have to sit with some bananas in your kitchen and you can create a healthy chips and then try to market that. So this is a, one example, there are multiple examples. So basically it is third party industry wherein you create a biotech product, but you're not selling to biotech audience. You're selling it to the regular consumers in the market, okay? So it can be in beverages, it can be processed food, it can be um, frozen food, whatever, okay? So this is one market which is for regular consumers and basically it can grow huge it can be as big as you know hindustan unilever you can grow it that big so yeah that's first point the second point is agri based organic food industry right now you look at this the consumers today are getting more aware so ag agri based organic food you don't need to really uh, you know become a farmer for that you need to know how where to source okay and then how to brand, how to preserve without using the artificial preservative and selling it to the right audience. Now, where the challenge will come is sourcing it, okay, which you can always, because you have a lot of energy, you can always, you know, reach out to some farmers who are doing organic farming, farming in the villages. You can source from there and then you can sell to the consumers. This also includes your poultry, organic poultry, like um, the chicken or the egg which is you know created without the use of any uh, you know artificial um, growth factors which they use nowadays right so that also can be one idea so basically i'm talking about organic agri-based product or organic poultry products i know a itc scientist who um, you know left his job Okay, so he ha he has 18 patents, but he has left his job. He has taken a farm near to Bangalore in Karnataka and every day he is manufacturing 600 eggs right now. Okay, and now he is selling it. The price of the egg is four times the regular egg which you get in the market and people still buy because it is very, very tasty. Even I am a consumer of that, right? So you can imagine that one idea. So it's not a hardcore biotech product, but you can get started. Once you have the capital, you can always diversify into multiple things. So yeah. Uh, that's one thing. So first I said is third party consumer goods and the second is organic agriculture based food industry. Third one is biotech hardcore industry and that is bio supplies. You see India is a vast country. In fact, the global world, there are many other uh, parts of the world where the bio supplies don't reach. Now lab supplies, okay. And it's very fragmented market. So using uh, a website or probably an app, you can take the orders, okay, and I can help you there also. You can take the orders from various part of the country and you can supply the raw materials or test tubes or bio supplies like chemicals and reagents to them, okay. So this is something which uh, we have tried also, but we had to stop it because of the COVID. But yeah, that's another industry which is a very big industry where you will be sourcing the product from the manufacturers and selling it to the biotech companies. But where it becomes very exciting is when the diagnostic labs also start buying from you. Okay, so that is an amazing uh, field where you can get in. So uh, bio supplies is the third point which I wanted to make. The fourth one is bio IT. Now for bio IT, all you need is a software and a computer, right? So uh, for example, you take um, bioinformatics training from Farhan Zamir, sir. Learn bioinformatics, okay? And then you can create the bio IT company or bio IT consulting company, right? So basically, you can take the projects from US, UK, abroad, Europe, and then bring it to India. You have your own experts or maybe you, you are yourself doing it. You can start with freelancing and later on you can uh, combine it with other things. So uh, that is where you will be able to uh, do all this uh, right in India, you'll be earning in dollars and spending in rupees. That's the best part of this. And there is a huge scope of bioinformatics. You can even help, you know, people to publish paper in uh, bioinformatics, help researchers do their, you know, analyze their data using your bioinformatics tools. And you, but all you have to do is brand it right in the right way. So I think I told you four to five um, pointers here. And if you like the bioinformatics idea, we have a bioinformatics internship starting from uh, 1st of February. That's biotechnology, bioinformatics, global tools and techniques internship. You can always uh, enroll there. So that's something. So I gave you five ideas. Now comes the surprise gift. Now the surprise gift, gift which I wanted to give you is, these are just some basic vague idea which I gave you. It's not a specific idea, but I'm going to start uh, program very very soon a bio entrepreneurship program and 
uh, it will be online and so wait for that uh, announcement if you are interested please comment below if you, that you are interested then i'll give you more higher preference okay in that program so what i want to do is in the next 10 years i want to start 3000 companies with all the youngsters who are listening this video if you want to start a company and create employment and create a lot of scope in our country and support the biosciences sector and at the same time earn crores of rupees then I think the time has come that I have to help you. And with all the experience and all the connections which I have in the biotech industry, I can definitely get you somebody who will help, right? So you have now the energy, you have the guidance from me, and you'll have the course, which, we, which I'm going to start very, very soon. So all you have to do is make up your mind. If bio entrepreneurship is something which you want to do, comment below that you're interested. Let me know. And then we will start this particular uh, internship or uh, a course which will help you get started and start your own company and I want to seriously have at least 3000 companies by the end of 2033 so that the graduate or postgraduate of 2043 will never ever beg for jobs will be ready for jobs and will get jobs easily now at the same time I want to make sure the youngster of today who is listening to this video is ready you know, it creates amazing product for the market and also earns crores. So if you are the one, let me know. You can always reach out to me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. I know you have the zeal, you have the energy and I'll give you the guidance. Let's come together to start a biotech company. All the best. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.